What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're back. We do fun things here and today we are talking about crochet butterfly locks. Okay you guys, so if you haven't already seen my butterfly lock tutorial, I'm gonna put it up here for the cards. If I'm pointing to the wrong side of the screen, judge me. But um, go ahead and watch my butterfly lock tutorial. I did butterfly locks all on my own, just using hair, wrapping it, folding it, putting it in, and all of that stuff for the first time. And I wanna compare that experience to this experience, which was just crocheted butterfly locks already done, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a little bit of footage so you guys can see what this hair looks like outside of my head. These are 10 inch crocheted butterfly locks. They have great loops on the top, very firm, very good loops and the actual hair itself is very stable um this is what they look like uh when i got them they can they come with 10 pieces in each pack and there were eight packs yes 10 pieces in each pack and there were eight packs in total so that makes for 80 butterfly locks all together in your beautiful head so i'm gonna talk about the pros and cons should you go with amazon butterfly crochet locks or should you go with your own DIY butterfly crochet locks? Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, let me go with regular schmegular DIY do-it-yourself butterfly locks. Now, a great thing about this is that you can use different types of hair. You can choose if you want to use water wave hair, passion twisting hair, or whatever kind of hair that you want to use. You can achieve this style with um, different varieties of wavy or curly hair. So that's a great thing about it. You can use whatever you have on you. Um, you know, you might you might have some extra hair from a different style and you might need only a few packs. So it's a little bit convenient like that. You don't have to go, you know, on Amazon and, you know, go ahead and buy this specific crochet hair or whatever. So there's, that is a pro. Um, also, you can choose to install the hair however you want. You wanna do individuals, if you wanna do crochet, however you wanna install that because some people like crochet, some people like having individual boxes all over their hair. So, you know, based on your technique and um, how you wanna install the locks, then maybe the DIY option might be good for you as well now also with the DIY option you can manipulate how short or long you want the hair you can manipulate how how many curls you know these little butterfly notches you can control that so the DIY option definitely puts things into your hands and just says do as you may do as you please do as you wish this is this is up to you now the cons of doing the DIY butterfly locks is number one, it takes a little while, I'm not gonna lie. This is not one of those styles that you can just bang out in three or four hours or anything like that. Like, it, it takes a little while to do. Another con about it is that you need the skill to do it. It's not something that is very easy the first time that you do it. Even me, um, I do different types of protective hairstyles and I don't think that it's particularly beginner friendly, especially trying to get these ends here. That is a learning curve that you'll have to go through through so you know it's not quick it's not very beginner friendly um, those are the downsides to it now let's talk about the Amazon hair okay we're talking about what I have in my hair right now now pros to this Amazon hair is that number one it's a really good um, it has a really good crocheted loop now I got this hair from Toyo Tress um, shout out to them they're one of the more you know popular um, sellers on Amazon for natural hair and protective styles and crochet and stuff like that in general um, and I really like the loops on this hair in particular they're they're a nice size um, very easy to work with sometimes when you're doing crochet hair it's like you're trying to get your finger through the loop and you can't quite quite grab it it's a great loop on the top that's that's a great pro I feel like it's really easy to install um, another pro about it is that it's done it's done for you you want a crochet lock you got a crochet lock you put it in and you're done um, so that's a good thing another pro about them is that they're neat right? You already have them done like this. They came really neat out of the package. And so you don't need to be too worried about how many loops you have here or, you know, how, if the end is going to hold or anything like that, they're perfectly neat and in great condition. Um, and that's particularly what I liked about it too. It was nice and neat. The ends of the lock are nice and firm. So it was just generally a very easy and fast experience as well. So pro fast experience as well the cons to having the crochet butterfly locks are um you can't manipulate anything about it right so if you don't like like these are 10 inch might i say i think i said that already but these are the 10 inch locks um i wanted to have my hair flipped over to the side and they're just too short like you can see here they're just shy like it's just a little too 
short. You know, I wanted them to fall a little longer, but I don't have that option because they came 10 inches and that's just what I have. Another con to it is that they're crochet. That's it. You, all you can do is braid your hair down and crochet them in. You don't have many options in terms of installation. And along with that point of a con as well is doing these individuals would be a challenge because you can't uh, because you can't easily blend your hair in here also because it's a lock on the bottom you're not really able to take your hair and you know fish it through the middle some people like to do that as well so you're kind of stuck with doing um, an all flat you know braided or twisted down crochet base and then you're just stuck with putting those on top you don't really have much options in those terms okay and the last con is simply just um, the flexibility in terms of purchasing the hair. Um, if you wanted the crochet hair, all you'd have to do is go on Amazon and buy it, which is which could be a pro, but a con to that is that, you know, if you had a few pieces of hair left over from another style or a few packs of passion twisting hair that you wanted to make, you know, locks out of those, you wouldn't really have that flexibility. You would pretty much just have to use what comes in the pack, which is not generally a con, but it's more so like um, for people like me who have extra packs of hair sometimes sitting around, it's like, hey, if I buy four more packs of this hair, I can make a whole new style and it didn't cost me that much money, right? So um, that's just another thing to consider. Overall, I did have a great experience with this hair. I don't know if I would go back to the DIY option just for the ease, like the ease of putting this hair in and getting the style that I wanted was great. I'll take all of the cons that, come, that came with it, but that's just me personally. The only thing for me is that I wish is maybe if they were like 12 or 14 inches, that way I could, you know, have a little more flexibility in terms of how I wanted to style them, but I'll take it. I I'll take it. Okay, you guys, so I hope that that helped you. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box for where you can go ahead and purchase this hair. Again, this is from Toyo Tress on Amazon. This is 10 inch butterfly locks in the color 1B. Let me know down in the comment box which one you prefer. Do you prefer the DIY option? Do you prefer the crochet option? Everyone has their preferences and that totally works as well. So go ahead, give me a thumbs up if you got some value from this video, if I helped you out in any way, and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.